Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Helena. If you're new here, recently I have started this series on my channel called The Final Year Diaries where I document my time during my final year of medical school. So if you haven't watched my previous vlog, I traveled to Nigeria, to Benin City, Edo State for my medical elective and I spent a couple of weeks at the University of Benin Teaching Hospital for my medical elective. If you are interested and want to know how my experience was like, please stay tuned and watch this video. And also don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Enjoy! Super FM. Yo, check this video. Hey, my name is Chixi, the Fresh Mr. Frey. Have a good one for five. And we're holding it down across the South South Nigeria. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us. Some of you guys vibing, feeling good. I don't know. Hi, guys. So today is. You might be hearing some noise outside, so I've opened the windows. Today is a Sunday. Lost count of all the days, you know. Today's the 21st of May. Just had a shower, so hot. I'm gonna turn on the fan a bit. But hopefully this mic will pick up uh, my voice. I was trying to just sort out the things I'm gonna take for my electives because I start tomorrow. So I'm gonna start with Obzangani. I was supposed to do Obzangani for two weeks, but instead I'm doing Obzangani for one week. And I think one week of pediatrics and then one week of just internal med just to get a feel of everything really my uncle he helps me print out like my log books like things i need to get basically signed off as well which is really good and yes i've got myself prepared for what i need for my elective but i think i will show you guys maybe later on i'm still tidying up and unpacking and just seeing like what i need to take with me so i might be in theaters for like when they're delivering babies and if there's any other operation too yeah just gonna take you guys through the whole experience so far i've been enjoying my stay yeah yesterday was just really nice and very spontaneous i actually arrived in benin city yesterday in the morning so i took a flight from lagos to benin city and it was literally less than one hour so it was really really quick yeah there was no delays it was actually pretty smooth the flight another route is you can go by road i think by road is about six hours but obviously that all depends on traffic and you know all of that stuff but because i had like quite a few suitcases so my suitcase went by road but i took a plane my mom as well came to Benin city with me at the moment my dad's still in lagos I want to do this one. Actually, I want to do my makeup though. So this hair, oh, this hair is growing on me a little bit. I think I need to get some gel to get some edges. Today, I might be going to the zoo. I actually don't know the name of the zoo, but once I've got the name of the zoo, I'll let you guys know. I actually didn't know that there was a zoo in Benin City. Explore the city. Like I've even tried to go on like YouTube to see like things to do in Benin. I could find videos here and there but like a video where it really tells you all the fun stuff that you can do in Benin City. Yesterday I went to this like dessert restaurant and um, we got some ice cream there it was really good. I went to Marketplace which is like a supermarket and like a Tesco or an Asda yeah just to get some food stuff. I walked around the area around my auntie's house she has a chicken. <laughs> do you even know there's a chicken? I went to see the chicken and like where they actually keep it keep the chicken and we walked around and then i end up seeing some random like goats um, around the area and they were having a fight and i was just thinking what was going on <laughs> what else happened yeah they're just really cool like i saw like, the actual tree that plantain comes from like coconuts even cotton wool like i saw the actual plant i'll put all the videos here so you guys can see it's a bit cool to see these stuff obviously when you're in the uk you don't get to see your food are coming from it was just pretty cool for me to see and then they have dogs here and i'm really scared but the dogs are always like locked up but you know me and dogs we don't play yeah like, like me and dogs nah and the thing is i am so scared of animals and i'm going to the zoo today take you guys with me i might be doing other stuff maybe who knows 
I don't even know the timetable for my elective. Like, I don't know if it's going to be like very heavy. I don't know if I have half a day, if it's a full day. But we'll get to see as time goes on. But the main thing is, I just want to experience medicine in Nigeria. I know that I'm only spending a couple weeks, so I'm not going to get like the full perspective of how medicine is like in Nigeria. And I feel like the people who actually work here like, or study in Nigeria are the only people that can really, really testify or really, really say how it's like to be a medical student in Nigeria. I guess I can only experience a glimpse. I've been contemplating if I should wear makeup today or not. Normally I'll be like, yeah, let's wear, wear makeup, but this heat is just crazy. But I think I'm gonna try and see if I can do a light makeup, like just fit in my eyebrows and maybe a bit of foundation. But yeah, I look, I don't know, I'm just getting darker by the day, but you know, it's all right. I've been getting a tan, like I'm dark and I'm still getting a tan on my feet. Yeah, I feel like my foundation is not even gonna like be my right color. I need to hurry up because I think everyone's downstairs and I'm gonna join them in a bit and get some tea. Still, I know the weather's hot, but I, yeah, I still have to have my tea. I need to even charge all my devices. I've got a laptop, I need to have my camera. I've not used this camera yet, but I think I'm gonna charge it just in case my phone goes out. At least I'll be able to like record. Still yet to get a SIM card. Yeah, a SIM card so I can actually use my phone. I've been like hotspotting my mum the whole time because she has a Nigerian number and I don't. So I'm gonna try and get one today. Yeah. Well, I think my cousin might help me get one. So that's what's going on basically today. And I'll just give you guys an update later on. I realize this part of this video is so long. It's supposed to be like literally like two minutes. Bye guys. <laughs>
Yeah, yeah, one year, two. Year, year one, year two, year three, you are here. Yeah, okay. After your first MBB, I don't know if you guys write your MBB. Yeah, we do MBB, yeah. Okay, yeah. After your first MBB, you will now live here and go to in, uh, the teaching hospital. Uh, you will now start your practice. Clinical, yeah, clinical, okay, yes. yeah. So when you lecture time, you come here. Right. Clinical in, 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 Yeah. How much? How much? Good morning, ma. It's quite big. Yes, mm -hmm. they are still constructing the is still on that construction. Okay. Resident doctors commenced work at 8 a.m. on Monday at the UBTH after the leadership of the Nigerian Association of Resident Doctors suspended its five-day warning strike, which it embarked upon on Wednesday, May 17, 2023. Among the demands of the resident doctors include an immediate increment in the consolidated medical salary structure to the tune of 200% of the current gross salary of doctors. After walking around the hospital and campus, I went to the labor ward for my first medical elective rotation. Coincidentally, my first day of my medical elective was the first day after the residents' doctor strikes at UBTH. About to watch a C-section, I'm going to take you guys with me, but not like literally, but take you guys with me. Do you know what? After watching surgeries here, literally surgeons do a very good job operating in the heat. Guys, it's not for the big heart, it's like they really do a good job. One thing I'm still trying to adjust is this heat. And guess what? I'm still drinking tea. So I have some things I need to photocopy. So I'm just gonna go and get that done. I'm not sure how much it costs, but I've just took 2,000 naira to see if that'll be enough. But we'll see when we get there. So this is the end of my first day of my medical elective and it was pretty good. I got to watch a cesarean section and also saw different types of patients in the labour ward and I was just telling my family about what I got up to during the day. Hi guys, so today is my second day of elective actually. Yesterday I didn't really report. It was quite a busy day, so I'm in Obson Gaini, and Obson Gaini is quite busy. I'm doing my elective at UBTH, so at the University of Finland Teaching Hospital. So I'm starting with Obson Gaini, then I'm going to do pediatrics and the last internal med. So I'm on my way soon. I just thought I'll update you guys on what's going on. Before heading to the wards, I attended the morning review session with the OBS and Gaini department. Here, the doctors present cases from the wards. Usually, they're interesting cases and have good learning points. Both doctors and medical students attend these sessions. For these sessions, everyone wore a white coat, 
This is one thing I wasn't used to because in the UK we wear formal clothing or just scrubs. After the morning review everyone goes back to their designated ward and ward round continues and also they see patients. So yeah, I just got to the hospital I'm about to change into my scrubs and start basically. <laughs> sweating and it's not even eight o'clock yet what do i have with me no pad because it's very necessary here i had a small one yesterday they were like that's too small and got some pen i spent the whole day at the labor ward and this particular day was very busy i watched the doctors use the ultrasound to check the health and the development of the fetus so the ultrasound was used to check several things such as the size of the fetus to check if there was one or more fetus to check if there's any defects or any physical condition to check the position of the fetus and also the placenta and also to see the general health to see if the fetus was growing well on the same day we had a obstetric emergency and this was a uterine rupture a uterine rupture is a serious complications where the uterus tears or can break open so a uterine rupture refers to a full thickness disruption of the uterine muscles and the overlaying serosa and it usually occurs during labor and can extend to affect the bladder or the broad ligaments hi guys so i'm back from this is my second day of my elective however i feel like i have not really spoken to you guys because it's been quite busy so i've been doing typically shifts from let's say i start about eight so eight to five basically i look so sweaty right now but just ignore me guys i just she just got back and i just thought i record before i get changed because i'm about to have a shower and just like relax and get some food and also my mom got some mangoes so i'm gonna like try some mangoes it's been great so far like it's been great like adjusting to the nigerian system but i'm just there like kind of observing and it's just interesting i feel like the people here don't really understand why i picked nigeria to come and do my electives but there's just something about this experience that I really wanted to do and I think from the first day I knew about electives I've always I've always known it's going to be Nigeria like if anyone knows me it's mentioned that I'll come to Nigeria for my electives it's always it's a thing that I, I just have to just tick off basically anyway today I was in Obzangaini ward so this whole week so this house I'm going to do one week of Obzangaini one week of peds and then one week of internal med just to experience each um, rotation today I did watch a birth so yeah anyways I really enjoyed well I've enjoyed my first two days I just hope the rest of the three or well, two other weeks that I'm doing it's going to be really good fingers crossed but yeah so that's the breakdown of what's been going on I really hope you guys are um, you know enjoying this vlog and I'll speak to you guys later good morning guys so today is Sunday and I'm off to church with my auntie this is my first time going to church in Nigeria so yeah let's see how it goes the service was great, I really enjoyed it. Then we went to a restaurant called Kilimanjaro. After that, we went to an arcade, and this was at the Rains Event Center. There's an arcade, and it's really nice for kids to come and play and just do some fun activities. So I spent the rest of the week at the labor ward and then I moved on to pediatrics. This is my mom and she got some dreadlocks done in Benin City, which is really nice. She got it styled and dyed as well.
Hi guys, so I'm going to tell you guys about my day and what I got up to. Let me just sit down. Hi guys. Oh, the sun looks really nice here. So today I started my pediatric placement. So yesterday there was a day off because it was the presidential election. So I didn't have to come in yesterday. So today was my first official day in the pediatrics department and it was really good. So I'm just spending a week in the emergency department and so far so good. So far so good. It's really busy in the children's emergency department but it was good. And also I'm going to get my hair done again. As you can see this is getting a bit old now. I've not had it long though but it's getting a bit old. So I'm going to do, let me show you guys, this hairstyle, you guys can see it. So the, ex the extensions is called Darling, but there's only one of this type, so I'm mixing it with this. Hopefully it's not too bright. Yeah. And I think I'm just going to chill for a bit. For my lectures, I do have to complete some work, so I think I might start because the deadline is kind of approaching. I'm just loving the sunset right now. Really, really beautiful from here. I'm really, really enjoying it. But yeah, so that's what I just wanted to tell you guys. Like, I've changed departments. I'm in the pediatric department. Hi guys. So I've just gotten ready and i'll be heading to the hospitals I'll be he so i'm in the children emergency department and my day starts at eight and i finish at four so i'll take you guys through the various days hopefully and today i have to do a presentation so or a teaching session so i have to teach the medical students about upper and lower neurological examination uh, we saw a patient who had As part of my elective, I had to write a report about a case that I've seen in hospital. Whilst in the children's emergency department, I saw a child who had tetanus. This was my first time seeing a case of tetanus. Just in case you're not familiar with what tetanus is, tetanus is a disease caused by a bacteria called Clostridium tetani. And this bacteria enters the bloodstream through a break in the skin. Once spores enters the skin, toxins are released and this enters the bloodstream. This can cause serious adverse effects to your nervous system and muscle. A common way of tetanus entering the skin can be from stepping on a rusty object. And other ways can be from soil, dust and animal feces entering an open skin. This is why wearing gloves whilst touching soil and also wearing shoes outside are very important. Common presentation of tetanus are painful muscle spasm in the abdomen and back. So also they can present with a locked jaw. So this is when the facial, the neck and the jaw muscles are locked. And this can make it difficult to open the mouth and also difficulties with breathing and swallowing. Other signs and symptoms can be headache, fever, sweating, seizures and change in blood pressure and heart rate. Once the spores invade the body, it cannot be cured but it can be managed and this could be by thoroughly cleaning the wound, providing medications for pain relief, controlling the spasm and also heart rate. So an anti-toxin injection can be given. This injection can help neutralize the toxins already released in the body. 
In cases where patients have difficulties breathing, a mechanical ventilation can be provided and it's also important to give antibiotics. This is why vaccinations are very important. To prevent tetanus in the first place, vaccinations are available from childhood as part of the immunisation schedule and also boosters are available. Hi guys, so today, oh it's not focused, so I decided to use my camera today because my um, phone story is full at the moment, so I usually vlog with this iPhone, well today is, I don't even know if you guys can see it, but it's the 1st of June, 1st of June 2023 and it's 5.16. About to just go and have my dinner and I'm actually having my favorite which is the vegetable soup at Flory Road. I'm gonna head downstairs now. I don't know I just feel like just sitting outside and yeah so I'll just take you guys with me. Okay guys I didn't really last long outside because literally mosquitoes was about to literally finish my arm literally no. This is Nigeria. They've taken um, the electricity, so I'll have to wait for the generator to be turned on. I think the one thing that I'm not really used to is not like not having constant electricity and, and the weather. I'm just gonna call my friend quickly and see how things are going. I'm gonna call Daniela. Let's see how she is. Hello. Hey. Hi. <laughs> hey. 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 So me and Daniela had a long conversation talking about my time in Nigeria and also how my elective is going at the moment. We also had a random conversation about malaria. Yeah. As, I mean, as long as I don't get malaria then, the mosquitoes have this hit. You know when they land on your skin, yeah? You think they do nothing, mm. but they literally suck your blood. And that's how you yeah, get malaria. Like, literally, they're they, literally they sucking your blood. Like yeah exactly like, they put the parasite out of you and it affects like your red blood cells and then after this like, let's say like it happened today it'll present maybe like a couple of days time like you start to feel uh -huh. it won't be like there and there you start feeling sick it's like gradually yeah. like, you start feeling a bit feverish and then your body might hurt okay. so here malaria is just a common like you know how we have the common cold this is how malaria yeah. is here really? I mean, this is the severe malaria so, like, when they hit, when you get here yeah, yeah. and then you tell them you have malaria that they, they, they like oh my gosh yeah it's a notifiable disease that means you literally have to tell the doctors tell the doctors the doctors they report it got internal med this week and i think i might need my lab coat it's just a mess i'm gonna try one more time to iron this and if it's still like this i'm just gonna leave it but i don't think it looks as rumpled as it was before so this is not too bad yeah last rotation was internal medicine and I stayed mainly with the renal team 
and I spent a short period of time here however I did enjoy it I joined in with their morning reviews and also their ward rounds with the other medical students as well that go to the University of Benin so guys it's raining I need to go home today I had renal medicine and I'm gonna be heading home in a bit just wait for the rain to go down and I'll head over to the car that will take me home my official like last day of my elective and just getting dressed I'm about to leave soon it's a bit sad now like it's coming to an end at the like start it felt like it was a long time but yeah like the weeks just went by you know very quickly and yeah that's I went to a library this week however I found out there's another library called the John Harris library so I was thinking that I'll try and find the library guys and I'm gonna see if one of the medical students here can actually show me because I actually don't know where it is but I'll see you during ward rounds if anyone can show me and I'll surely take you guys with me so yeah let me head out I have a driver that picks me up and takes me to placement like picks me from home and takes me to placement and picks me from placement and back home and I think that's been a lifesaver really because I don't have to leave the house too early and also I don't have to struggle to get to the hospital so I don't know if anyone's coming for like elective it's probably best to stay very close to the hospital or arrange like how you get back and forth to the hospital but anyways i'll talk to you guys later on bye guys hi guys hi. so this is Fwa, and she's a <laughs> final year medical student yes hi. you're being nice and she just finished her project <laughs> <laughs> so i met a lovely lady called Efwa, and she's a final year medical student at the university of benin at the time of the video but now she is dr Efwa, and she kindly showed me around the whole campus honestly if you're watching this thank you so much Thank you so much. Great help. You're around everywhere. Thank you so much. I also wanted to see how the markets are like in Benin City. So my auntie took me to two markets or three markets at this point and just explored and see what they sell and the prices of things. This. Oh, this one is black one. That's it. So, uh, you see? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, see. Huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh wow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Scary. 
So this is the last few days I've been in the city and I went to the cinemas with my cousins and family. We watched The Little Mermaid and it was really good. Hey guys! Well, I cut up. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm going to introduce myself. Oh, so this is okay, okay. I'm here. Right. Cousins. 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 couple days afterwards I got my hair done and you can see how long my braids are I've got some really long braids done using lush hair and honestly I really really love this hair very affordable compared to prices in the UK so I took the chance to get my hair done before I left Benin City hi guys so I just finished my to get my hair done you guys can see the hair it's really really nice Look at my scalp. This is how dark I've gone. Last memories. Yeah. <laughs> so my trip to Benin is over and I am traveling back to Lagos and then from Lagos traveling back to London. Hi guys, so I just got ready. I'm gonna get my nails done and also get some food because I haven't eaten today yet. I arrived to Lagos literally a couple of hours ago so when i got to lagos i got my nails done and i stayed in lagos for about two days and then traveled back to london so yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed my video i really enjoyed vlogging my time in benin city if you do like this video please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe to my channel join the family and Hope you guys enjoy my next final year diaries. Bye guys.